Oh, there you are, YouTube. This is going to be one take. One take. Um, busy day. Lots of work. So basically, I'm working all day long. Morning till night. I think it's like 10 something now. And then I will film one of these, get it uploaded, and make it available. That's that's sort of that's sort of my day lately, and that's why these have not been edited lately because I'm not able to do them earlier in the evening, which is what I would typically do when I do a random ranking, which is what you're about to watch, which is when I go to my movie collection behind me, and I pick out three movies at random and then rank them based on a variety of criteria. So yeah, that's what today's gonna be. Just a one take random ranking. Let's get to picking some movies. Um, whoops, I just looked. I'm not supposed to look. I'm supposed to have my eyes closed. You know what? Let's go into this area. Ooh, it's one of those old, old DVDs. Let's see, maybe something behind my Watchmen collection. Ugh, I don't know, these are about to fall over. Excuse me, I just burped. My apologies. Ah, darn it. It's been so long since I've seen that. I'm gonna take that one out. Okay, here we go. So now I have two, and let's do three. Man, I haven't even seen this one. Darn it, gotta get rid of About a Boy. I've not watched that yet. That one's my wife's, married into that one. She does talk about it a lot. Okay, got it. Ooh, this is great. Okay, here we go. My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Very famous romantic comedy. Um, it was like an independent film, and then for the longest time, maybe maybe even still, it was one of the highest earning independent romantic comedies ever. Then we have a Coen Brothers film. A lot of people, I feel like, don't talk about this one. I think it's like one of their like fun comedy ones that they do. You know, they have their more serious films that get all the accolades, but then they have things like this, which don't get remembered. Um, but this one I think is pretty fun. Billy Bob Thornton is in it and I really like his scenes quite a bit. Um, I don't know, like the Coens, or at least one of them wrote, well, they, they have a relationship with Billy Bob Thornton because he was in that, what was the black and white one called? The Man Who Knew Too Much or something like that. Um, that's very good. Uh, I believe both of them or one of them wrote Bad Santa, which is one of the funniest movies <laughs> of all time, even though it's a little choppy. Um, it's uh, absolutely hilarious and he makes it absolutely hilarious. Uh, but yeah, this I feel like doesn't get much respect. It's kind of, you know, it's nothing, I don't know. I, I guess it is one of their more simple films, but you know, all of their movies can really be boiled down to one thing. A giant bag of money or bank of money or uh, just a, a heap of money people are after it right every single one for various reasons yeah so um, yeah this this falls in that category too but it's like lighter fare and then Dark City this is epic. This is genre melding, which is very cool. It's film noir and like, um, I don't know, what, what, do you, what do you call that? It's like uh, gothic and um, I don't know, cyberpunk, I guess, and horror. It's, it's pretty great. Um, Sci-fi, I guess. Um, but this is cool. This specific DVD here, I really don't like where I bought this from. They put this sticker on here because this is cardboard. So if I were to try and take it off, it would ruin the image. But the sticker's already ruining the image. Regardless, uh, Roger Ebert did a commentary for this disc. Yeah, right there. Roger Ebert, one of the most. Here, let me try and. Uh, sorry. <laughs> One of the most, uh, probably can't read it. I'm sorry. I don't know. Is that there? Yeah. Anyway, that says Roger Ebert and he did a commentary for it. Um, you know, uh, I assume everybody knows who he is, but maybe not. Just fantastic movie critic. No longer with us. Um, he, yeah, 
he's great. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. He, he, he's like who I, I used to watch him when I was a kid on um, the other, his show, Siskel and Ebert. And then it moved, you know, to after Siskel passed, it was Ebert and Roper. And yeah, I just really, really enjoyed watching him and reading his reviews and, and such. So how do we rank these? All right. I do like all of these movies, do enjoy them. Um, here, I think this could be a case where genre wins over. Like, I love comedies, and I like romantic comedies, but, um, and, and I find them easy to watch. So I do, I've watched both of these more than Dark City, which... I feel like in normal random rankings would put one of these up front or both of these up front and put this one in the back because a lot of times if I haven't seen the film as much that means I don't love it as much but here again is a case where I think I don't know Coen Brothers though great film Tom Hanks produced this if I remember right I think he did a little little production there and I love Tom Hanks but, I think, is this going to, okay. So, this, this is kind of hard. Sorry, my, my lighting is getting all strange. Okay, I, I, this is where I'm having trouble. I'm stalling because I'm trying to figure out which one I like more. I, this one, easier to watch. Um, very smooth and competent. I mean, same here, but a little darker. Not not typical Coen Brothers dark, just darker than this movie. Oh, uh, man. Okay. All right. What am I going to do here? Big Fat Greek Wedding, Intolerable Cruelty. Uh, these are these are essentially a tie. Sorry you had to just sit there and watch me think. Because <laughs> there's there's no editing here. Um, I think this is it. Oh man, is this it? I don't know. <sighs> this is very difficult. So, the lighting is so weird in here. Again, apologies. But this might be it. Okay, Dark City. I love the genre. I love science fiction, film noir. When that's blended together, like Blade Runner. Um, I don't know. There are other examples that I can't come up with right now. Um, Johnny Mnemonic, you know, all of that is very cool. Um, so I'm going to go Dark City. And then I think, oh, sorry about the lighting. I think My Big Fat Greek Wedding and then Intolerable Cruelty. This one's just such an easy, an easy watch. It's much easier watch, to watch than this one. These are very close to one another. I think this both of these are so light in color that it's affecting all the lighting and it's embarrassing me, bothering me, and I apologize for that. But I think this is it. I think this is our ranking. There we go. Dark City, Big Fat Greek Wedding, and Intolerable cru cru Cruelty. Very difficult to say. So thank you so much for watching this random ranking. I'm just going to stop. There we go. Here's good lighting. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.